Hi everybody, my name is John Bonner, owner of Great Lakes Growers. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about a question that I get asked often. The question is, John, how does your greenhouse compare to indoor farming or vertical farming? Quite frankly, there's a lot of similarities that are worth talking about first. Both systems grow using climate controlled facilities, which means we can grow year round by regulating the light, heating and cooling of the facility to create optimal growing conditions. In addition, we both grow hydroponically, so our produce is grown in water instead of soil. The major benefit of growing in water is the ability to customize the nutrition to positively impact the color, flavor, and texture of the plants. Also, we are both able to capture and recycle virtually 100% of the water that we use, which means we use substantially less water than traditional field farming and are being good stewards to this resource. Additionally, we are both able to build facilities that are closer to population centers, which means less food miles and a better shelf life of the product. Finally, our produce is protected indoors, which allows us to mitigate the risk of foodborne illness like E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. However, despite all the similarities, there remains one substantial difference, and that is the sustainable use of energy and its impact on the environment. Growing in a greenhouse means we utilize natural sunlight 100% of the time whenever possible. The fact is, there's nothing more efficient at producing light than Mother Nature. Whenever the sun is shining, whether it's July or December, we have no need for energy from the power grid to provide light for our plants. Alternatively, 100% of the light needed to sustain plants in a vertical farm must come from the power grid, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In our greenhouse, we always capture the sun's radiation and turn it into heat energy. Quite simply, the solar radiation shines into our glass building, it becomes trapped and heats up the facility. It doesn't matter if it's a 50 degree day in May or a frigid 20 degree day in December. If the sun's out, we're eliminating our need for on-grid power. In a vertical farm, there's no ability to generate heat naturally. 100% of the incremental energy needed to heat the facility comes from the power grid. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. From a cooling perspective, when our greenhouse gets too hot for the plants, we simply open the roof to let the heat escape. If additional cooling is needed, we utilize systems that require very little energy to cool the facility. One system is the use of shade curtains that automatically close to reduce the solar radiation on the plant. And the second system is a high pressure mist system that adds cool water to the air to further reduce temperature as needed. Vertical farms require massive AC units to cool down the facility, and not just during the hot summers. The heat generated from the artificial lighting generates a massive heat load, which must be expelled. So the AC units need to run, you guessed it, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So when you add it all up, Every pound of lettuce grown in a vertical farm uses far, far more energy than that same pound of lettuce grown in our greenhouse. As a third generation farmer, I care very much about how things are grown. By harnessing the power of the sun to provide light and heat, we're operating a facility that's growing in the most sustainable manner possible. As we all know, energy demand in the world is on the rise. At Great Lakes Growers, we're doing our part to grow in the most sustainable way possible.